Hello, Scorpio. This is your uh, Mercury in retrograde reading. It's March 22nd on to April, the end of, not towards the middle of April or the second half of April. And sometimes you'll feel a little bit early. Not everybody actually feels it. It depends on how Mercury is in your chart, but a lot of do, people do feel it. And that's when things can become chaotic and kind of ass backwards. So um, I want to give you a reading because you've got Jupiter also going through your chart. And that's big things that are occurring this year for you. Things are going to be magnifying, magnified a bit. So this is your reading. And if you want a personal reading, you can go to my website. It's in the description below. And Instago is also in there. That's where you can call me privately if you have an emergency reading. Um, Scorpio, Mercury in retrograde, March 2018, energy is coming in. Scorpio, Mercury in retrograde, 2018, March, energy is coming towards Scorpio. Energy is coming towards Scorpio during Mercury in retrograde, March 2018. Now, with Mercury retrograde, you don't have to accept that energy coming in. It's really hard to get rid of if it's a major arcana. But if it's not a major arcana, you can really switch that stuff up if you want to. A lot of readers won't tell you that or they don't know. Live long enough, you know. Hmm. Got the lover coming in? Hmm. New lover? Old lover? Let's find out. Or are you just a lover? I gotta get used to this camera. Lord. Ooh. That devil there. Gonna make a choice. Could be something with a watery type that element. Earth. Water. Got a little bit of fire here. Got a little bit of everything. I'm trying to get to where these don't look so crooked with this stupid camera. Sorry. It moves on its own. It's got a mind of its own. If I move it too much, it's not going to look good. Oh, forget it. Anyway, overall energy, like I said, there's a lover situation. So I'm thinking there's, there's a lover coming in or someone you love, or it could be something already with a current lover. But they're going to be mag magnified during Mercury in retrograde. And you got the high priestess in the uh, in the past, but it's coming towards Mercury in retrograde, so it's still going to be very much there. And that's going to be about intuition, keeping secrets, not letting everybody know what you're doing, and still, you know, being in the upright. So the high priestess, why are you there for Scorpio? The energy coming towards you. So this could be also a Piscean type person, don't you think? Hmm. Why are you there? Oops. Huh, this person bought you some happiness in the past, or they want to be happy with you. See, it's coming towards you. i got to remember that. This energy is coming towards you. Someone is kind of like, um, how can I say it? Not secretive, mysterious. That's the word I'm looking for, mysterious. And they're wanting some kind of happiness situation with you. Now, as an obstacle, and it is an obstacle, is the Prince of Dis. Maybe there's another suitor there, or maybe it's... Uh, Maybe you don't feel like you're financially capable of dealing with any relationship right now because you got these, you're coming out of a burden. And the Prince of Disc is sort of like a page. And so you could have a, you're pro probably waiting for something to come in, maybe a message, could be taxes, could be anything. But you're waiting for that to come in and maybe slow going. And you're trying to come in out of a burdensome sipes type situation. So that could be your obstacle as a burden you're trying to overcome. Now, at the current time, that's trying to come out too, but we'll see. At the current time, that was the Four of Cups, if you want to know it was kind of coming out, trying to come out. Uh, you got the devil. And the devil can mean many things. It could be that an obsession is coming towards your way, someone's obsessed, someone's feeling chained to you, maybe someone's watching you, obsessed over you, it could happen. A lot of people are obsessed over Scorpios. They say Scorpios are obsessed, but people are obsessed with the Scorpios also. So the devil card, why are you there? The Capricorn type energy, let's see. The devil, why are you there?
Hmm. Yeah, someone's feeling chained. It's coming your way. And maybe they had a misfortune also with you. Maybe the, things were moving forward and suddenly they went backwards and now they're feeling chained to you still. Or these energies can be reversed. You can feel chained to this certain situation. So these are both major arcana. So this is definitely probably going to occur, okay? Now you got a choice to be made. This is a, also considered an outside energy. That's all outside energy. But it's also um, the, the um current environment or the environment that this is holding on to. The outside situation where you have basically no control or that you need to make control of. And that's the two of wands. And that's a choice that needs to be made. So it could be a choice between two different situations. Uh, it could be financial. It could be a relationship. It could be anything. A home, you know, buying a home. It could be merchandise. But during this time, it's hard to make a choice during Mercury and retrograde because it can get screwed up. So if you got to make a choice, make sure you, you know, you, I told another sign this, dot all your I's, cross all your T's because something can get mixed up. But there is a choice to be made here. And you're going to think one way or the other. But I want to give a clarifier. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Why is the Two of Wands that choice card? Domination. domination taking control. Why is that there? Two, two of Wands, excuse me. Blah. Two of Wands, why are you there? To me, it reminds me of the Two of Swords, but it's not. It's making a decision. Uh, two of Wands, why are you there? There's that High Priestess there. She's over here, and now she's over here. So your choice, this person may be coming towards you, and the decision is coming towards you. This person may be making a decision towards you also. So you got that, you definitely got some kind of, you know, someone who's very mysterious coming towards you. They're, you know, they're kind of hard to figure out. Maybe you like that. Scorpio sometimes like that little bit of a challenge there. But you got the Queen of Cups as a final outcome. Let's find out why she's there. Queen of Cups. And that's also can be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So, Queen of Cups, why are you there? Again, hmm. this is someone contemplating how to do something, how to work with this energy. This is someone wanting to come out of a burden. That's the obstacle. And they're one... This is nine. This is number ten. So it starts out with nine, thinking about how you're going to come out of it, and ten, actually going to that work and doing something about it. And you're feeling like that workload may be lifted from you or not being lifted from you, and you're attempting to do so because it's coming towards you. So I'm thinking you're waiting for an offer to come in. You may be waiting on finances also, but you got somebody else coming in that you may want to become involved with. Because remember, you had the lover situation. So this person you may be wanting to become involved with. But you may not be able to think, I don't know if I can afford this right now. Because this another thing may be coming in is that this person was chained in some way. They they're, they're, they feel chained to you. Like it's like, and, and they're having misfortune. They're feeling like they lost out. That's what I'm thinking. They feel like they lost out and they're obsessed with it. So you could be having someone also, like I said, watching you, you know, from afar. And a decision needs to be made. And whether you're making this decision or they're making this decision, you let me know in the comments. But you got time. And you may decide, after all, not to make any decision at all during this time, which is kind of like a... a Good thing to do because this is the two of ones reversed as the final energy you may say i'm not ready to make a decision yet Scorp scorpio may still be like hanging in the balance because i see like um someone coming your way feeling like i said burdened in a way chained but you're you're dealing with financial issues and you may not want to deal with this person now i don't know if this you know, 100% sure it could be a family member too. You know, 
the lovers have a, a family type situation energy to it because here's the happy family card okay so this be lovers family work anything like that during mercury and retrograde and the, the best decision during mercury and retrograde sometimes is just to wait it out until that energy passes and then go forward but that is your reading scorpio have a nice one bye